Are you looking for an easy quilt block that uses quarter square triangles? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make the Clown's Choice quilt block. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So the Clown's Choice quilt block um, is a traditional quilt block but it's not a block that I was really familiar with. And I came to this block because I'm participating in Quilt Block Mania, which is a promotion that is spearheaded by um, Carolyn Moore. And in this promotion, there are a number of quilt designers that each month they design a new block. And the blocks have a theme overall to them. So some of the themes that have been done have been places or neighborhood or quilting. So these are pretty broad themes. And all of the blocks that I've done have been pretty traditional blocks. But the theme coming up for uh, the month was circus and I was like, I don't really know a traditional quilt block that would be circus themed but I did some searching and I found there's a block called Clown's Choice. And it's this pretty simple block. It's made with quarter square triangles and background. So you can see it's a nine patch. And so I don't know if it's called Clown's Choice because it kind of resembles um, clowns tumbling or juggling. I don't know the um, history of where this name came from, but this is a fun little block. And so this block is 12 inches finished size. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make Clown's Choice. So to make the Clown's Choice block, you are going to need four, four and a half inch squares of your background fabric, three, five and a half inch squares of the background fabric, and three, five and a half inch squares of your feature fabric. Now these two fabrics are gonna be used to make the quarter square triangle units. So if you wanna make your quarter square triangle units with a different method than the one I'm using, you are welcome to do that, but you will need different uh, fabric sizes and measurements. So I'm using the two at a time method. Um, so we will put these squares to one side for now and we'll get started making our quarter square triangle pieces. So to get started making quarter square triangles, we're gonna take our background squares and begin with marking a diagonal line onto the back side of the fabric. So just from corner to corner, and I'm just using a regular pencil for this. And then we're gonna take a background fabric and a feature fabric and put them right sides together and then stitch a quarter inch away on both sides of that piece. So it'll be stitching a quarter inch on this side, stitching a quarter inch on this side. Now that the stitching has been done on both sides of the line, I'm going to cut these apart on the line and you can do this with a rotary cutter or a scissors, it doesn't matter. And then I will go to the ironing board and I will press it open and you can see that we've made half square triangles. So once the half square triangles have been made, we're gonna take uh, one of the half square triangles and mark a diagonal line on the back of that one. And this diagonal line goes the opposite way of the other diagonal line. And then we're gonna put this with another half square triangle. So alternate sides together. So green and white, green and white. And we can feel that the center seam lines up. And then we're gonna stitch this again a quarter inch away from either side of that marked line. And there are six half square triangles, so we're gonna do this three times. We have three pairs. 
Now that these pieces have been joined, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut on the diagonal line. And then when we open it, we can see we have quarter square triangle. And so we will take this and press, and then this piece will need to be trimmed down to be four and a half inches square. It should be pretty close to four and a half inches square, but it will not be exactly four and a half inches square. If you wanna see a more detailed tutorial for how to do the trimming, check out my quarter square triangle video. Um, but we'll press these and trim them all down so that they are four and a half inches. Once the quarter square triangles are all trimmed, they're gonna look like this. And you'll notice that we have six quarter square triangles because we were doing the uh, method that gives us two at a time. Now for this block, we actually only need five, but if you're making two at a time, you have to make six. So you have a bonus quarter square triangle that you can save for another project or you could use it in the label or something like that. This is a bonus one that we don't need. And then the rest of the quarter square triangles, we are gonna lay them out with the background squares. And this, is kind of like a nine patch block. Well, it is a nine patch block with quarter square triangles. Um, so we have three across and three down and all the um, green pieces are done in the same orientation. So it gives us like these big pieces of background um, fabric that are gonna be great for embellishing. So we're gonna assemble this just like an iron patch block. We're gonna stitch these together into rows and then join the rows together. So here it is, the clown's choice block. So it's a nine patch block with quarter square triangles in the corners and in the middle. So if you wanna see this block embellished with hand embroidery, Check the link below and you can see the fun project that I do with this. But this block um, looks great with embroidery or just on its own. It's a fun block that would be great to use in a quilting project. For more quilting tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out eodastudio.com.